YouTube and in this video we're doing more Fallout 4. The first vidi video that I did for some reason, I'm not exactly sure why, but I didn't have any sound. So, we're gonna continue on in this video, but I'm gonna explain. Ex sorry, I got the hiccups, but I'm gonna explain exactly everything that I mentioned in the in the other video that didn't ha have any sound in this video and we're gonna try and continu continue on from where we left off but anyway basically as I promised we are doing another series which is fa Fallout 4 and there will be face cam coming in the, in the coming months, but for now we're gonna stick stick with this. So anyway, basically, if you want, if you're wondering why we're, as you can tell, in a base that's already almost pretty much. The best it can, it can possibly get is because this, I originally had the, the disc version, but I replaced it for the mobile version. I mean, not the mobile version, the, um, the downloadable version, and because of that, that took some time, so, so as a result of that, it took a while to uh, do this, so... Basically, luckily I, d I didn't accidentally delete any saves because sometimes when I don't have a game for a while I tend to think that the saves are useless and then I delete them and then I remember that they, are, they were supposed to, supposed to be useful at another time so luckily I didn't delete any of my save files so that's, that's good but anyway other than that Basically, there really isn't much else to explain to you, I mean, and towards the end of my last video, I showed you guys a secret spot that's behind that house right there. You can go to the end of the video, that other video if you want, and it's right here, it's a root cellar, it's a secret spot that not too many people know about. And it's like right out in the open, so it's really easy to to check out if you want, and you can do whatever. But anyway, basically, this is just gonna be like kind of a video just explaining things, I guess. I, I do a lot of those update vi videos, but... I'm not gonna like continue to do a ton of them because I mean there isn't much else to update you on and whatnot. So yeah, like you know. But for the re for the rest of this in particular, I might as well just quickly show you kind of a layout of the map. Mostly, I've like unlocked a lot of the areas around here. Well, I'm gonna fast travel to my power armor though. <coughs> A real quick. Uh, I haven't played this in so long, so I almost forgot how to fast travel there. Let me get to the um. There we go, and there we go. So anyway, basically, we're gonna continue where we left off from last time, which was where we were just, or I was just showing you my settle, my settlement, and I believe, if I remember correctly, that last time I was 
near my power armor. Yep, I was right. It's like literally got almost nothing left of it. Because I, I well actually isn't the fusion core empty too. I know I have like a lot a lot of fusion cores left. But I do need to fix my armor though. Now the fusion core is pretty much full, but I do need to fix this armor. Yeah, so the power armor is looking pretty good, I guess. It sure takes some getting used to after, like, being away from this game, so. And now, because of that, I gotta remember how to exit the armor. Sorry about this guys, well I guess that's what happens when, when you don't play a game for a while. Well this is kind of a stupid video but I mean I upload these f videos for you guys either way so, so I mean like you know. Whether it's gonna be a crappy video that it looks like I have no idea what I'm doing in. Or a really nice video. Oh, no wonder why. That explains why I could have exited my armor the whole time, but it just said I could exit it there for some reason. Well, there we go. So sorry about that l little stupid thing there, but whatever. Basically, this is the gist of everything. Like, I've got some decent stuff going around and whatnot, so that's good. Let's see, where does that wire come into? Where did that. Let's see, it, does it just stop right there? Yeah, it kind of just looks like it stops there. Wait a minute, is it even connected on this end here? Wait, maybe the the generator doesn't have enough power. Well, when I originally came to this area of the game and defeated the giant crab monster, I mean, it was already lit up in here if I remember correctly, so. Basically, we're just doing a little bit of gameplay for the rest of the video, and that'll be about it. And I know eventually you do need to kind of do something with this, but I still haven't figured it out. Powerful transmitter. I mean, I searched a few things on YouTube, and it showed what to do with it, but I mean, didn't exactly show how to get to it though. And yep. This giant crab thing is still just sitting there. You would think after a while it would despawn like everything else, but nope. Because I know that a lot of stuff, out of the stuff stays when you kill it, but some of the things do despawn after a while. But that one crab monster does not want to go. And as you can see, I kind of like fixed up the walls with these cement things here and whatnot and kind of changed it up and over here I'm kind of working on a little bit of a structure it's not finished yet let me see how much material do I have over here probably not much but I'd imagine that I have a little bit at the very least Yep, I do have a lot of wood, but I don't have enough steel. And I'm pretty sure that there aren't very many just wood structures. Yeah, there are none, so... 
that's just gonna have to sit. Although I do have enough concrete to make a fair amount more of these, but that's not of use right now. And although I didn't buy the DLCs, I do have a few of the DLC items, like the new doors and whatnot. Why it gave me those, even though I don't have the DLCs, I do not understand, but... I mean, hey, free DLC stuff, fine with me. Probably because it's just like a thing, so people don't feel like they've been cheated or whatever, I don't really know, but... Probably something along those lines. And I've heard that somewhere around here or around somewhere there's like a submarine that I haven't checked out yet. But anyway, that's all fine and dandy. Yep, now I'm starting to get a little bit more used to the controls. Like I'm starting to remember them a little teensy bit more because it's been like probably a month or two maybe th three since I've played this and I've just totally forgotten about it yeah so basically this is everything and whatnot but we're gonna go back to sanctuary Well, I do remember that when I originally came out of the Volt 1-1 place, there's this, there was this, um, thing uh, called, like, what, the um, cryogenic freeze thing or whatever, I forget what it, what the exact name was, but it was like a mobile version of it, and it froze people and killed them. And I never, well, I, I saw it on YouTube, and I, I well, basically, when I originally played it, I saw it there, but... Then I thought, hey, that kind of looks cool, so I checked it out on YouTube, and I saw it there. And I saw a way to get it out with the dog, but I never actually tried it. So I could do that sometime, but I don't know. But anyway, this video has been going on for probably almost 15 minutes now, so I'm going to end the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed, and sorry for the messed up sound in the other video before. But I'm gonna hope and pray that that doesn't happen again. So, like, subscribe, and comment, and see you guys in the next video.